Hi, it's Dennis here, and welcome to a Living Light Artist Spotlight. Today we're gonna to meet Ben Woods. Ben is not only a fantastic friend of mine, he's a great photographer, a superb light painter, and he's gonna share a bunch of tips and tricks with us today, and a little bit of background as to what his photography means to him. I hope you enjoy this fantastic Living Light Artist Spotlight with Ben Woods. Let's go meet the guy. So tonight we were having a bit of a play with your balls. Yes, shiny, <laughs> yeah. That's a whole nother dimension. Man. Yeah, it's crazy, it's... Um... But you've added something. <laughs> so here's the thing, I wanna, ah. like, everyone's using crystal balls, right? Yes. So yep. I want you to tell me, what's, what's, where, where did that inspiration come from? When I go online and buy something, I, I go, well, I'm going to the trouble of getting online and having it shipped to me, I might as well buy two just in case I break one down the line. So I ended up buying two um, crystal balls and uh, as you do, and I thought I'll put one away for safekeeping and, uh, and just use one until it breaks, type, or until I dropped it was more to the point. I was having a bit of a scroll on Flickr, um, just had a search on there with crystal ball photography and at that stage, there wasn't a lot with light painting in it. Um, there was a lot of the landscapes, the sunsets and you know, all that sort of stuff but not a lot with light painting. There was um, two artists, I think, that were doing light painting with uh, crystal balls, just on Flickr. I don't know about the other social media. So I thought, That's, that looks really nice. So I gave that a go for a bit. And then as you do, you just sort of experiment. And um, I got to a point that I thought, hang on, I've got two, how can I use that? So I ended up pull, pulling the second one out of uh, safekeeping and uh, started messing around with the two. And it, it really, um, really was quite interesting how the reflections played off of each other and, and all that sort of stuff. Focus seemed to be a bit of an issue because you virtually got two really, really um, curved surfaces reflecting off each other. So depth of field was an issue. Um, so I got that, I got that worked out. I left it set up because it took me so long to work out. <clears throat> you know, it's all just learning as you go, and um, and it come up come up really well. I'm really really pleased, and now I can have a night out in the studio just doing the doing the double double um, crystal ball shots, and it's, yeah, it's lovely. Try and we try and get away when we can. Obviously, um, everyone leads a busy life, so it's important to to um, get away from the day to day. Um, so whether it's with family, with a group of friends, solo, it, um, it's, it's all time out, um, but different forms of relaxation in amongst that as well. Um, so whether we travel around or it's a night in the studio, um, it's, yeah, it's all time out and it all, all adds up. Well, I think most of that frustration comes because I'm spending a lot of time behind the camera and not in front of it. Um, the thing with light painting is it, it takes time. Um, there's a couple of, couple of golden rules that you learn pretty early on about camera settings and that's more to know what your camera's doing, not so much how light painting works. Um, so you've got to, got to sort of learn how your camera operates before you can understand how light painting works. So if, you, if someone was frustrated, and we see it at workshops quite frequently, that people just not getting what they were hoping for on the back of the camera. And usually it's just settings. You know, I don't think there would be anyone in the world that doesn't get frustrated by what they see on the back of the camera. But it's understanding what you can change and how it affects your, your output photo. Understand that and it makes it a lot easier. I've been very fortunate that I've, I've been able to do quite a number of trips up to the Flinders and it's really been a magnet um, for me. Um, but in doing that, you, you do go to your special places and all that sort of stuff. So with our trip away, we really, really discovered a new place for me and it's one that I've driven past dozens and dozens of times. But standing on a hundred metre cliff, just, you know, we'll paint a pound in the background and sitting there and doing some light painting in the nice warm air 
it was just special, it, it was fantastic and uh, just completely and utterly relaxing. Um, and also having a good time with friends as well, it was brilliant, it was fantastic. With a lot of uh, light paintings, and, and it's trial and error. You, you, you're really trying to get the scene right, as well as get in there and do some funky stuff with lights. And that's not always easy. It's not all just about settings. It's about how you move, uh, where you move, and how far away from the camera, close to the camera. Everything is, it takes time. So landscape photography with light painting in it, it's not just a case of go out and take a light painting in amongst the landscape. Um, I find stuff in the studio is, is even more difficult. Um, a night in the, in the studio might be four or five hours of going solid and just, just absolute relaxation, but you could take five, six hundred photos and you might pluck one or two out that you're happy with in that period. Um, but at the end of the night, you, you've, you've probably learnt something new, you, you've given something new a go, and you've really, um, you know, and that's what it's about. It, it's not about taking the hit photo every single time. It's about looking at the shots at the end of the night and going, I really like that. That's what I wanted to achieve. Spinning orbs is sort of, um, it's probably the first thing that I, I attempted to do. Um, it was quite a bizarre attempt with a, and it was literally a torch on the end of a string spinning it around and uh, we were up, um, up camping in 2012, I think. And uh, I've still got the photo, I, I can find it pretty easily on my computer and it's pretty bizarre, but it's there. It's sort of roundish, pumpkinish, and uh, yeah, it's, it, that was, that's really the first orb that I spun. And um, yeah, followed, followed yourself for quite a while and then we happened to meet up um, and it's just been lovely. But um, yeah, spinning orbs, it's, uh, I'm not sure how many I spun. I seemed to have it, have it down pat pretty quick. And then I had 12 months where I could not spin an orb to save myself. Um, and they went, uh, went quite ordinary for quite a while. And, uh, and then it's just practice, you know. I, I, um, I wasn't spinning a lot of orbs, and then I couldn't spin an orb, so I wouldn't, wasn't, wasn't spinning an orb. So I gave it up for a little bit and, um, and did other stuff, and then I thought, no, I've got to, got to learn, it's the only way, and uh, is to practice. So got back out there and spin, spun like a champion, and uh, yeah, most of my photos have now got orbs in them, and. Uh, um, uh, it's just one thing that I, I just do every time I light paint now just to keep the practice up and that's what it takes. It, it takes hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and uh, I don't think I can spin a perfect orb yet. Yeah, the, the beautiful thing with the light painting is it is a, a great little community. Um, a lot of it is on social media, online. Um, and these guys, the light painters, are all around the world, but they're only a click away. So I, what I have found in the last couple of years is that you can see something, you can give it a go yourself, but you can also jump on and ask questions about, you know, about that technique or what procedure they, they undertook to do, to do that particular image or series of images. Um, and overwhelmingly with the light painting community is that they love to share. They, they don't mind if you're asking questions, they don't mind giving you an answer. And I think that's quite unique and, and it's a great thing that the light painting community um, has evolved to. Um, I don't think you get that in a lot of forms of photography and I think that's pretty special and I think that the light painting, light painting community in general need to sort of nurture that and continue it and grow that. Um, and that's a, that's a great thing. That's a great thing. <laughs> Legion. Let's go spin some orbs, eh? All right, let's do it. Let's get some fire happening. <laughs>